Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you and the Word of God on this beautiful Thursday, February the 8th, 2024. I'd like to say thank you to those who were able to tune in with us on last night for Bible study. Thank you for your presence, and I pray that you received what it is that you needed during that particular teaching. We started a part one on the lineage of Jesus, uh, derived from a question from one of our members. He wanted to know why uh, in Jesus' infancy was he moved around um, from uh, Bethlehem to Egypt and then to Nazareth. And so we started that teaching and lining it up with uh, some prophecies from the Old Testament. So we will uh, continue with part two on next Wednesday. Uh, love, love, love the error of teaching the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, I want to talk about faith. Now, I am not a prosperity teacher or preacher. That's not who I am. I believe in foundation. I believe in order. I believe in faith, working towards what God said. And so, we believe God whenever... Uh, a word is spoken, uh, God's plans for our lives are revealed. Uh, we believe his word by faith, but it is something that we do on our part, which is work to bring it to pass. That's what faith is. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's just like if an individual says, I want to go to school for this degree, I want to learn about this, then guess what? They get themselves together, they enroll in school, they get the classes that they want, they attend the classes, they do the work to get that degree that they wanted. So it takes work. Faith is what you say. And we have to believe that what we say we want to do, that it is going to happen. If you want something, well, if you have to save up for it, you are saving towards that, right? That's the plan. Faith is having a plan. You have a vision of what you want. You organize a plan to bring it to pass. That's faith. Plain and simple. Faith isn't complicated. Faith is not hard. Faith is having the discipline to have a vision and working towards bringing that vision to pass. Now the most beautiful thing about that is is that when your desire lines up with the plans of God for your life. So oftentimes we talk about faith and then there's this picture of someone sitting on the sideline doing nothing, waiting for things to just fall into place in their lap. But even in the instance with Abraham, when God told him what to do and the results of his moving, he did a type of work which is he got up out of his father's house from among his kindred and out of that country. That was a type of work. And throughout his journey, he did things which were a type of work that brought the result for what was spoken to him. And so there is something that we have to do on our part and I want to encourage you today that whatever, whatever your heart's desire, and I 
definitely want to make sure that we say that that desire, what you want to do as an entrepreneur, uh, building a business, um, a ministry, organization, whether it's profit or nonprofit, it's going to take some work, but it is going to take also your faith in your belief system that whatever you spoke, this is what I want to do. This is where I want to be in the next five years. This is where I want to be six months from now. It takes work to get there. It's not going to just voila in six months appear and you have not put in any work. So it takes having a plan together, putting something in place so that you can have whatsoever you say. That's faith. Now, if you say that's what you want, do you believe that you can have it? Because if you believe you can have it, then you're going to put in the work to make it happen. And if it doesn't happen, ask yourself, did you really put in the work? Were you consistent? Were you committed? Did you complete those things to bring it to pass? Faith is walking by sight. It, it, it's, it's walking by faith, not by sight. Excuse me. Faith is walking and you don't see it. But as you put the components together, the pieces of the puzzle together, it works out for your good. Whenever you buy a puzzle and you empty it out, the box has a picture. But when you dump those puzzle pieces out, you can't see that picture. Those things have to be organized and put together so that you can see the big picture. You know what it's supposed to look like because your words speak a description. Over in Psalms, the 90th division, the 17th verse. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. Work. Work while it is day. Because at night, no man, you can't see. But you can work while it is day. You can have what you say. If you put in the work. In relationships. If you want good, strong, solid relationships. Put in the work. Everybody has a part to play. The thing is, is to make sure that you are doing your part. Because God is going to do his. But it takes self-discipline. It takes a determination. We have to have our minds made up. What it is that we want. And I like to call it getting in the lab. And perfecting it. Working out the kinks. Polishing it up, getting it all together. You can have what you want. But do you believe that that is possible? Yes, there are going to be some snags. There are going to be some hiccups. But you keep working until it is perfected. Stop trying to be a overnight sensation. Don't worry about that.
stop looking over in somebody else's lane, wondering why they seem to appear from nowhere and boom, they've blown up. You have no idea how long they've been in the lab. You're just seeing them now. But you don't know the time of work and the oil put out. You don't know. But faith really is all about working towards what has been spoken. What was said. Accepting what was said. I want the good for my life that God said. Now when something negative is spoken, you don't have to live for that. You don't have to live up to that. That's what faith is. Faith is living up to what is spoken. You are blessed. How am I blessed? I want to be blessed, first of all, in spiritual things, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The knowledge of Christ. Revelation of the knowledge of Christ. I want to be blessed. I want the work of my hands to be blessed. But in order for the work of my hands to be blessed, I must put in the work. I can't just put out any old thing and say, whoa, bless it. No. I give God my best. So that he can bless the work of my hand. Somewhere along the lines, we have misinterpreted and uh, about what faith is. Faith without work is dead. If you don't work towards what you're believing in, you will not see any growth. You won't see any maturity. You won't see any of that. So it's time for us to get our plans together, to get ourselves together and just really solidify what is it that we want to do. I want to do this. I want to do that. First of all, let's get stable and understanding in what we want to do. Pray about it. God, I have this plan. This is what I desire to do. And then work towards making it happen. God is not coming down off the throne to bring you a building and fill it up with clientele for whatever you want to do. He's not coming down to do the work for you. He has already given us the tools that we need to bring to pass what he said. But if somewhere along the line you think God coming down to do the work, no, God already did the work. He created heaven and earth and everything that's therein. And he equipped us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He gave, the, gave us gifts of trade. Some people are so great in what they do. From catering and baking and hairstylists and child development. You have surgeons. You have architects. You have masterful at what they do. But they put in the work. They study to show themselves approved. That's faith. You can have whatever you say. If you put in the work. I pray that what it is that you desire, that it lines up with the will of God for your life. And that you learn as much as you can. Have a spirit that is open to learning, open to growth, maturity, advancement. Become stable in your faith. Stop wavering. Today you're sure, tomorrow you're not. Stop doubting yourself. 
God has not given you that spirit of doubt. He has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. It's according to your faith. What you want to do, that's according to your faith. What you want, that's according to your faith. What is it that you see? If it's of God, you God, I want I want to get to what I see. I understand that everybody doesn't have vision. Everybody doesn't have the gift of faith. I understand that. I'm talking to those who he has given the gift of faith. You know God gave you the gift of faith. Come on, let's get to work. There's so much work to be done. And I understand, I understand life. I don't have a perfect life. Far from it. But I am one that I walk by faith and not by sight. When I hear God tell me to do something, when I am led by the Holy Spirit, I, I hear it. Do you not know how many times I have sat at my computer for hours? Because I can see it in the spirit. I can hear. And I have learned to say it. This is, I've learned this a long time ago. And I'll be transparent with you and tell you I wasn't fully walking in God back then like I am now. But I knew of God. And I would say if you allow me to hear it, if you allow me to see it, show me how to get to it. Show me how to do it. And I would sit there until he showed me how to do it. Therefore, I, can't, I couldn't take the credit on how to do anything. And nobody else could take the credit to say that they showed me how to do it. It was all direction by the Holy Spirit. Because I had faith enough to say, if you showed it to me, if you allowed me to hear it, only way I can get to it is if you, you show me how to do it. And as you show me how to do it, I'm going to put in the work. And along the way, yes, there were times that as I was being led and guided that I started to add my own little twist and turn in it and it didn't turn out the way that I saw it because I ventured off oh let's be transparent here we have to stick to the plan put in the work follow the instructions and the directions given unto you God will bless the work of your hand when what you do you do it to the glory of God our father which is in heaven our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What I do, I do it to the glory of God. And when he uh, draws us by the Holy Spirit to do things and to grow and mature, do you not know it's uncomfortable to go back and do the things the way that you used to do it? I know so many people have said to you, God is preparing you for greater. And you're saying, well, when is going to happen? If you're not putting in the work, preparation is work. Then you won't see greater. How does he prepare me for greater? He draws me by the Holy Spirit. In my time of study. In my time of getting in his presence and in the time of, of working and reworking things. That's how he prepares us for greater. He draws us to uh, examine our areas of discipline. Oh, he's preparing you for greater. But you have to pr uh, participate in the preparation process. 
Nothing gets done without work. Take the time to prepare. Don't, don't just throw something together. But I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage your heart, your mind, and your soul. That yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can do it. Despise not the day of small beginnings. Don't worry about starting small. And because, listen, when you start small, you, you can make sure that you have a solid foundation, that you are building on a solid foundation. So take your time. This race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, meaning it's not, it's not given to the fastest, it's not given to the strongest, it's given to the one who can endure to the end. So pace yourself. You walk by your faith. They got their faith. They're working according to what they see. You work towards what you see. And get it right. You can do it. I believe that you can. I know that you can. It's in you. You've come too far to turn around now. Look at all the things that you've already done. That thought that says, I don't want to do it the same as I did it before, that is the drawing of the Holy Spirit that says it's, it's time for you to mature, to grow up. And what it is that you have. Remember that puzzle. There's so many pieces to the puzzle. And although. Five pieces have the same color scheme in it. They don't even go next to each other. One of those pieces are at the top. The other one's in the middle. Uh, another one is up in the, in, in the top. And, but they all fit. Together. They work together. You have been gifted with spiritual gifts and talents. It's in you. You know how to do it. Bind that thought that says, I don't know how to do this. Stop listening to those negative conversations about, oh, you sure you know what you're doing? Get in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you on how you're supposed to move, how you're supposed to operate. You're not meant to do it like everybody else. So stop trying to do it like them. You're supposed to be unique. There is a difference about you. We're not supposed to do everything the same. No. You have a purpose. God has a plan for your life. So I want you to wipe your tears. And I want you to move away from doubt. And I want you to get yourself together. I want you to look yourself in the mirror. And I want you to say, we got this. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. I know that God got good thoughts and plans for me. For a good and expected end. And this what he gave me, I can't seem to shake it. I can't seem to let it go. Other ideas come, but I go back to the original idea. Other suggestions come from other people, but I am drawn to the original for what he gave me at the beginning. If you find yourself in that place, 
Because that is the place that God has for you. Let them do them. Applaud them, encourage them, support them. But you do you. Because there is something inside of you that is so great and so unique and you are very talented and nobody can take that away from you. You have a natural ability to do what it is that you do and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. It is there. Do not let your dream die do not walk away from that passion that you have. But I want you to begin to put things in perspective. Go over to the Dollar Tree. Pick yourself up a, a, a tablet. Begin to write those things out. What you see. Give, give it a name. How is it that you see it? The salon, the bakery, the child care center, the florist shop. Whatever business that God gave you, whatever idea he placed inside of you, don't let it die, don't let it go. Put in the work. It's yours. It is yours. Break the curse and the generational curse of poverty from off of you and your family. Break it. How do you how do you break it? You put in the work so that it does not attach itself to you. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Begin to move as directed by the Holy Spirit. Do things differently. If you didn't have a relationship with your parents and you want better with your children, move differently. If you didn't see good relationship between other marriages growing up or you're surrounded around that and that's not what you want for yours do something different break the mold destroy that yoke if you're sitting around people that they have great ideas but they're not moving to do anything listen get another crowd Get surrounded around people who are working towards their purpose, goals, and dreams. And make sure that they are stable. All of that up, high, low, in, out. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on. This is your time. This is your season. Walk by faith and not by sight. Walk by what you hear. And work until it appears. God will bless the work of your hands. Give him all the glory. Give him all the thanks. Honor him and magnify his wonderful name. God, is this your desire for me? I accept your plans for me. And put in the work. And little by little... As you begin to put those puzzle pieces together, you will begin to see the big picture. It'll come together. I know that it will. You are in my thoughts and in my prayers. Listen, we are in a time of fasting and praying for you because I believe that the will of God for your life is ever present. I want you to begin to seek him for his plans for you. And condition yourself. Set yourself in agreement with God's plans for you. I'm praying for you. Know that God loves you. I love you. You're in our thoughts and our prayers continually. Even when we're not on the air. We love you. Be sure to connect with us via our social media. At The Balance of Life. Via Facebook. Have a blessed day everyone in the Lord.